location based services have attracted considerable attention due to their potential for a range of highly personalized and context aware services. Since the days of early location tracking functionalities introduced in Japan in 2001 and in some US networks, location based services have made considerable progress. The potential for location based services is evident from powerful and ubiquitous wireless devices that are growing in popularity. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about location based services and mobile advertising opportunities and challenges. The lecture consists of two parts. In the first part, I will give you an overview of location based services and its applications. And also I will talk about various best practices. In the second part, I will discuss various opportunities, including mobile advertising. Finally, I will explain several challenges, including security and privacy. A location based service is a mobile information service that uses location data to offer a variety of applications, which is accessible by mobile devices to end users via internet and wireless communications. A wide range of applications can benefit from location based services. For example, E911 requirements for wireless cellular networks in the US have also enabled location based functionalities using variations of triangulation, GPS and cell ID technologies. In addition to the current and emerging satellite based systems such as GPS, which will provide wider coverage to benefit location based services. In some cases, locational information can also be derived and utilized from sensors, RFID, Bluetooth and wireless LANs. These systems can be used standalone or supplement the coverage for location tracking in indoor environments where satellite coverage is intermittent or inaccurate. Location based services can be broadly classified into the following categories information or directory services, tracking and navigation services, emergency services, and location based advertising. Now, there are various applications that are enabled by location based services. For example, voice enabled turn by turn navigation to any address, locating a building or a landmark on a map displayed on the smartphone, receiving alerts such as warning of a traffic jam or a notification of a car accident. In addition to that, there are other applications that are also enabled by location based services. For example, recommending social events in a city, requesting the nearest business or service such as a hospital, restaurant or a retail store. Asset recovery combined with active radio frequency to find, for example, stolen assets in containers where GPS would not work. Real time Q&A revolving around emergency services, weather conditions. Finally, location based mobile advertising is also gaining popularity. Location based services utilizes a wide range of technologies that can be used in various combinations to create location aware network architectures. The organizations that play significant roles in the development of LBA standards are the Open Mobile Alliance and Open Geospatial Consortium. In addition to this, there are several other organizations that provide important components of the LBA standards infrastructure. The Open Mobile Alliance is a key enabler of mobile service specification standards that support the creation of interoperable end to end mobile services. It consists of nearly 200 organizations, including world's leading mobile operators, device manufacturers and network service providers. The Open Geospatial Consortium is an international standards organization responsible for the development of standards for geospatial 
and location-based services. The Parley Group is a consortium that develops open APIs based on their open systems architecture for mobile networks, which provides functionality for authentication, authorization, and access to network services. The World Wide Web Consortium provides guidelines for mobile web best practices, including navigation, page layout, and content. The Internet Engineering Task Force provides guidelines for applications and services related to LBS. WES is, is a global consortium that drives the development, convergence, and adoption of e-business and web service standards, including LBS and the mobile web. Now let us discuss some of the best practices for LBS. The Wireless Association CETA has provided best practices guidelines as follows. LBS providers must ensure that users receive meaningful notice about how location information will be used, disclosed, and protected so that users can make informed decisions whether or not to use the LBS. Thus, users will have control over their location information. LBS providers must ensure that users consent to the use or disclosure of location information and LBS providers bear the burden of demonstrating such consent. Users must have the right to revoke consent or terminate the LBS at any time. In the US, the FCC requires that all carriers meet certain criteria for supporting location-based services. The mandate requires 95% of handsets to resolve within 300 meters for network-based tracking, for example, triangulation, and 150 meters for handset-based tracking, for example, GPS. This can be especially useful when dialing an emergency telephone number such as E911 in North America so that the operator can dispatch emergency services such as emergency medical services, police or firefighters to the correct location in a timely manner. Please stay tuned for part two of this lecture in the next video, which covers opportunities and challenges. And thank you for watching.